Well, a program that aims to address zombie housing here in Jamestown by fixing them up and then selling them to first-time home buyers could soon finally come to fruition. Our Bronson Rasmussen joins us live in the newsroom today with the latest updates on this program. And Bronson, you've really followed this from its inception. That's right, Justin. It's all part of a new effort launched by the Jamestown Department of Development, which will likely be officially funded by City Council later in the month. Lately, local lawmakers, and more specifically, those in the city's finance committee, have been weary about spending the remaining ARPA funding. In a compromise, the committee will likely approve $500,000 for the municipality's 19A program, aimed at purchasing dilapidated properties, fixing them up, and selling them to first-time homeowners. Originally, $750,000 was sought to kick the initiative off. We'll take anything in between $750,000 and $500,000. We'll be happy with anything. We just want to get this off the ground, get the money so we can at least winterize these houses and do some interior work prior to the, the, the growing season next year. But I, I think the real difference is just kind of uh, initial scope. Once the programs get up and running, and a few houses are brought up to code and sold, the project would expand from neighborhood to neighborhood. Councilwoman Marie Karuba feels that this is a good step forward. We have to do something different or we're going to keep doing the same thing over and over again mm -hmm. and ending up with more and more homes. When I look at that demo list, it's heartbreaking to see all these properties that are going off the tax roll. However, some, like Councilman Jeff Russell, are concerned about the project's sustainability. It's all about selecting properties to pair with the ones that you're going to have to sink some money in and be more at the break even or maybe even a slight loss point with ones that we can turn a significant profit on on the back end and using the funds for that to kind of sustain the program. Lawmakers also discussed using the $250,000 not going towards the program to help fund the city's senior housing homing repair initiative alongside another $250,000 that program would be able to cover all eligible applicants. Council will vote on the program at this month's voting session on November 28th. Live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.